Hi guys, it's Amy and I'm here today to do a quick makeup tutorial. I'm going out and I want to show you guys how to get ready with me. And I did, through this video, I did have a lot of issues with my video so I'm not sure if it's even going to go up or what. But I'm going to try to put it up, we'll see, because a lot of the, the things didn't even film while I was doing them. It got cut. Anyway, so if it turned out okay, I will go ahead and have it for you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so first I'm going to start off by putting some moisturizer on my lips and I'm using my Essos lip balm. That's the E-S-O-S -S lip balm and I do go ahead and put that on my lips prior to putting on my lipstick. Um, I do wipe it off before I do apply my actual lipstick but I give it some moisture before while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. Then I'm going ahead and um, putting on the primer. It's the Professionals from Benefit and I'm just going ahead and little, putting little dabs and then rubbing it in. I do prefer to use my hands as opposed to brushes. I do use a lot of brushes too but it's just with the hands I feel like I blend in my makeup much better and you do have to obviously have a light touch when doing it with your hands because you don't want to be harsh on your skin. You don't want to be pulling it or anything like that. So I do go ahead and um, apply that. So I did go ahead and um, previously wear eyelashes and put some eyeliner on, liquid eyeliner. Um, I was telling you guys I do have parts of this video that's been cut and stuff like that just because it wasn't recording. So sorry that's not on there. I will eventually have a tutorial for you guys for eyelashes, fake eyelashes. I'm wearing two sets of fake eyelashes in that, um, in there and then I also have eyeliner on. So then I'm going to go ahead and add, as you can see, my eyebrows with my NYC brow kit and I'm using an angled brush by Urban Decay. And the Urban Decay brush, you unfortunately cannot get that brush anymore. But any angled brush, thin angled brush will do. MAC has a really good one. Urban Decay has other ones, not that same one. Um, I'm going ahead and cleaning, obviously, the excess if you do get a little bit on um, above your eyebrows. So it's easy to clean. This is also a reason why I do my foundation at the end because I do go ahead and it gives me the free hand to, like, if I do get makeup anywhere, I'm able to clean it before I apply my foundation. So, and then um, I'm going ahead and adding my eyeliner, my liquid eyeliner, and that's from Almay, and it's the blackest of black. It's uh, number 221, Black Noir. And um, so I did have eyeliner previous to my lashes, then I had added my lashes. Now I'm just going back in and making sure everywhere um, is covered with the eyeliner. So that's what I'm doing right there. Just making sure. And then I do go in also with mascara very lightly. I don't really coat, like, I don't really coat my fake lashes. I just kind of attach the lashes to the fake ones. So it kind of blends well together with the mascara. So I'm not putting heavy mascara on. But then I do do also on my lower lashes. So now I'm using my MAC pigment in um, the color Naked. And that one's like a nudie little shimmery color and I'm using my elf brush and that brush is a smudge brush I guess it's called so elf doesn't have numbers on their brushes but anyway it's a smudge brush it's the white ones not the black ones so I'm using that it's a good brush because you get to pack pigmented any kind of like powdery eyeshadows and stuff and it packs it on so it doesn't get all over the place and get all over your eyelashes and stuff since I did my eyelashes before I do my eyeshadow. That's another thing that I do. I guess everyone's different in how they apply their makeup, but I, if I'm putting fake eyelashes on, I do the eyelashes first, and then I go ahead and do shadow. But if I'm putting mascara on, I'll do the shadow first and then the mascara. So I'm also adding High Beam by Benefit on the, basically on my eyebrow bones. And then what I did with the brush, the smudge brush, is basically I'm blending the eyeshadow and the Benefit so it can blend well together. Now I'm going ahead and going in with my mascara. And this is the Butterfly Mascara from um, Maybelline. I believe it's called the Intenza Mascara. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and add my Rimmel London. Basically this is a um, waterproof eye defier. And um, it's in like a nude color, number 213. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in my um, inner eye lids. It makes your eyes bigger. You can do that with also white, but I uh, do it also with nude because then it looks more natural. But it just basically makes your eyes look bigger when you do that. And then I did go ahead and obviously put the mascara on the bottom of my lashes as well. 
Uh, and then now I'm adding my foundation. So my foundation I'm using is the Tree Tree Flawless BB Cream by The Body Shop. And this is number two. So I'm going ahead and rubbing that in. And this actually does have lotion in there. So you don't actually have to, because it's a BB cream, you don't have to wear lotion on top of it. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and use my Maybelline Dream Lumi highlighter. And I'm going ahead and highlighting under my eyes um, and my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Then I'm using my MAC brush 187 and I'm going ahead and powdering my face and I'm using my, uh, it's like a Bare Minerals powder but this one is from Body Shop. Um, I don't think they actually make this anymore but you can always use Bare Minerals or just powder whatever, you know, just to powder it down so it's not shiny. And then I'm going to go ahead and bronze it um, and I'm using my, what's it called, Refined Gold from MAC as a bronzer and the same brush again I love how we have to make uh, weird faces when applying makeup just so we can get the right contours and angles and stuff like that so anyway so yeah that's what I'm doing now and then I'm applying some blush and I'm using my elf palette blush and it is in the color fuchsia fuchsia and I'm actually using an elf brush but um, I actually it's an angled elf brush I use it for my blush but I actually prefer using my MAC brush 168 I just didn't have it at the moment with me so and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of my high beam from Benefit and I'm putting some on my cheekbones I did earlier as you guys saw on my eyebrow bones and now I'm just adding some more um, powder to just you know set everything in place so I'm using a sponge, kind of like how you would use a beauty blender just to blend everything together, get rid of excess oil. I do prefer these um, sponges because I can actually toss it and I don't have to rewash it or anything like that so it doesn't have any germs or anything on there. So this is where it got kind of cut off. I already have my lip liner, as you can see, applied on there. I'm just darkening it right now. I originally used Rimmel London's Ravish number 057, but then what I ended up doing was I prefer actually using Cherry from MAC. So I did go ahead and wipe that off and then reapply Cherry on there. And then I'm actually using the lipstick from MAC. And the color is All Fired Up by MAC, and it's a retro matte. So it's really nice. It, it stays on for a really long period of time and you can eat with it and you're still good. So hope you guys enjoyed this look. <laughs>